Do you have any of your collection with you? Well, I was thinking you might ask to see something. Mm. So I decided to bring what is the third most important piece from my collection, yeah. You know much about Led Zeppelin? I do, yes. And Peter Grant, the manager? Mm -hmm. Big fella. Yeah. Well, I've got his calculator. This was his very last calculator. Fantastic. So you see, it's well thumbed. It is very well thumbed. Lots of money went through this. Well, millions. I mean, lots of it would be cash in bags for Peter mm -hmm. Grant, I guess, and God knows what. But that's his, yeah, it's solar powered. Mm -hmm. So obviously, uh, with a rock band, I guess, it's quite difficult to use on a night. So I presume he did most of his calculating in the morning or outside rather than backstage. How did you, how did you acquire this? This is offered to me by somebody who actually knew him, um, which is why I bought it. Because, again, the problem with rock memorabilia is you get all sorts of nutters saying, oh, I've got Johnny Thunder's toilet roll or whatever. And, uh, you know, you don't know who they are. But this guy, he proved to me that he did know Peter Grant. He actually worked for him at one point. Mm, he's got his initials on the back. P. Grant, yeah. When you're buying this stuff, you've got to look for these little signs of authenticity. So if it's got somebody's name written on it, like P. Grant or I. Curtis or K. Cobain, mm -hmm. B. Marley, it's always um, much, you know, obviously helps if you ever want to sell it as well. You know, you know it's the real deal. It's the real thing. You, not always. Of course, somebody could fake P. Grant, but that's actually in his handwriting. Absolutely. I, I was told. Amazing. Thank you. Put it back safely. <laughs>